President Donald Trump was practically thrown under the bus by Putin's regime when it revealed the real reason Trump canceled their scheduled G20 meeting had nothing to do with any aggression toward Ukraine. Instead, it had everything to do with the ever-developing scandals Trump seems to find himself in these days. As bad as that news sounds, it appears it got much worse when a spokesman for Putin came forward with information suggesting the Trump Tower Moscow project was a one-sided deal with no interest on the Kremlin's part and that the Trump-Russia conspiracy was all Trump's idea. Michael Cohen has now pleaded guilty to lying to Congress about the real estate deal. Cohen first said that he killed the real estate proposal after talking to Peskov's office. However, Cohen has now confessed to continuing to pursue the deal on Trump's behalf during the heat of the 2016 presidential campaign. Russian President Vladimir Putin's spokesman has displayed what he says are two emails from President Donald Trump's former personal lawyer asking for help getting the Trump Tower Moscow project off the ground. Of course, the former personal lawyer the spokesman mentions is Michael Cohen, who has teamed up with special counsel Robert Mueller and began shining a much uglier light on Trump's role in the Trump-Russia scandal. Based on the timing, It's interesting to see that Russia, which certainly played an integral role as well, has suddenly decided to use Cohen's emails against Trump. While there's no telling what Vladimir Putin's long-term angle is here, it's obvious he isn't messing around. And you can't help but wonder how Trump responds to this. Considering he is a creature of habit and knowing how badly he appears to be drowning, you know the response will be delivered in an epic, rant-like fashion and it will more than likely throw some shade back in Russia's direction. And it will probably contain some inadvertent confessions somewhere along the way.